So I've been a Tesla owner for just over a year now, and I've been loving the autopilot that comes built into the Tesla, but I wanted to see if the full self-driving is worth it. So let's subscribe to it right now and get going. Okay. That's part of the experience. I open my Tesla app. I go to upgrades. I can get an ex I can get an acceleration upgrade. <laughs> That's fun. Um, I'm not gonna buy full self driving. I'm not ready to go down that rabbit hole yet. But I'm just gonna subscribe to it. Click add, <laughs> and then pay for it. Okay. The, this car can has full self driving now. It was that easy. It's just crazy. I click a couple buttons on my phone and then my car immediately can do things that it didn't do seconds before. That's just unheard of. It's just the software was already on the on the on the car, on the computer with wheels. Okay, going into autopilot. Now to go into navigate on autopilot, I click on this button and those two blue lines change to one single blue line. So now I know it's thinking for itself. And I'm looking up there and I need to get in the far left lane. So let's see if it does it. Okay. It's asking me to confirm this lane change. I'm going to do it. Oh, but there's a car. There's a car. It's not going to do it. Oh, no. Okay. How about now? Go. 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 Come on. Oh, Bessie. Come on. There we go. Oh, so it... it didn't want to do it right in front of that car because it knew it would have a problem. Ooh, messy. <laughs> it changed lanes! <laughs> and it made this overpass. Oh man, that was wild. Alright, it wants to change lanes again. Okay, I'll let you do it. You do your thing. You do you. You do you. Okay. Woof. Woof. That was intense. It saw a car a little too close behind me and didn't want to move over lanes. So it let that car pass. And then there was still another car behind me and it was kind of trying to get a little further ahead before I made that turn, that cha lane change. That is so smart. So there are a couple new features on this. Now that I've, now that I've subscribed to full self-driving, this is what I get. I get navigate on autopilot, which is um, what we're experiencing right now. I get traffic light and stop sign control. So this is where the Tesla will always recognize those, but it won't do anything about it on basic autopilot. Now it'll actually stop. Um, at a red light and at a stop sign. It's wild. Full self-driving preview, that's that's on the basic. That's just all this stuff that you can see. And then summon. I'm gonna need to try. Oh, looks like we wanna do a lane change. But there's a car right next to us. Won't do it. Oh, it's so smart. It's so smart. Are you gonna do it? Oh, we want to do another one. So, admittedly, I had to learn how to trust this Tesla when I first got it. It was a little scary at first to like, okay, I don't know how this is going to react or behave. I trust myself driving. I don't necessarily trust uh, something else taking control. So it's taken some time to get used to that basic autopilot. Um, and I use it a lot. It's great on freeway traffic and a stop and go traffic. But what I miss is being able to change lanes where it, it does that for you. So. That's actually kind of what I wanted to try out with this full self-driving uh, subscription is what we just experienced. It's changing lanes for me because it's really smart. There are cameras all around the Tesla looking every direction, refreshing 60 to 90 times a second. That's way better than my two eyes that only look forward when I'm looking forward. Oh, what does it want to do? So it just know it knows my blind spots. It knows my front, it knows my sides. It knows where it wants to go. It's just so smart. So I feel safe with it. All that's all to say is I trust it now. It's, in some ways, I trust it more than myself or another human driving because it has dedicated a cameras in every angle processing what the next move is. Sounds pretty safe to me. All right. Here's the split. What's he going to do? What you gonna do? What you what you gonna do? What you? Oh, I made it! I got into the middle lane. Uh, regular autopilot has a hard time with that. Oh gosh! Stopping for traffic in 400 feet, through 200 feet, 100 feet. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> that 
was trippy. All right. So supposedly how this works is you just drive up to a spot and you look for a little P on the screen. And then that's the case. You click into reverse and click park. And it does its thing. So let's give it a try. Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay, and here we go. Oh my gosh. Whoa. It's going to navigate in between those two cars. Oh my gosh, you're going to hit it. Oh! I have another car in front of me. <laughs> Silly car. Silly gas car. This car is parking itself. Take that, sucker. Oh my gosh. Look how it navigated that. Wow. And then it straightens out the wheels. Oof. I like that feature. Let's see how this handles parallel parking. Okay, so I pull up. And does it see? Where's the P? And start. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is terrifying. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. Whoa, whoa, that's fast. Whoa, 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 come down. Whoa, look at that. Wow. <gasps> Let's see what else this thing has for us. Requ request full self-driving beta. Car must be in park to request. So you can't be an autopilot when you request the beta for full self-driving. Rough. Here we go. Limited early access drive self-driving beta. Yes. You are enrolled in full self-driving beta queue. Press again, doctor. Ah! Looks like there's going to be a part two to this video.